I'm standing here with my friend Sereka Hulagal, and he is a pastor in London. Although what you see behind us is not his neighborhood. Uh, this is uh, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to in my life. But I want you to tell just a little bit about how you got to England in the beginning and then how your church got started and then what you're doing with other pastors in terms of trying to multiply churches. So how did, how did you come here in the first place? Yeah, I, I came here through my job from Sri Lanka and uh, the head office here um, picked me out and wanted me to come and lead a team across Europe. Um, I worked as a business analyst and so in 98 we came to England and within a few weeks I uh, just started to connect with people and introductions and uh, we thought hey you know why don't we get those people home and teach them a bit of the Bible and uh, they got saved. So and that was a little house church really? That, yeah it became a house church and uh, after, after a couple of months we then you know had a healing meeting uh -huh. and another 17 people got saved wow and uh, so at the end of the meeting i got up and said right next sunday we, church starts here uh -huh. so we're in, in the rented building at that point in a rented building so then we moved into a rented building so is that where you are now um no we kind of you know moved on from there uh -huh. but uh, that's kind of the church i pastor now uh -huh. and so you have a vision you're you're leading a bunch of churches and you have a vision for church planting. Some of those people don't have that vision. That's why I'm here to try to share exactly. some of that. Exactly. So what, what are your thoughts? I, I know that you, you started at least one more church yeah. from yours. And then since I was here last year, you said three you more had three more. started. Yes. Yeah, my, my, you know, my heart's real desire is to see, uh, and you know, I would, I would not necessarily call it church. Uh, we, uh, I'm kind of calling it discipleship centers and to see at least one of those in every county across oh, England, good. Scotland and Wales. That's the kind of the long term vision. But it's really, I'm trying to encourage our pastors and leaders to think about multiplication rather than just adding, okay. but really kind of multiplying. And so that they can be effective as well rather than just being in one location. Yeah. If you're called to a city, you can be in different parts of the city. Yeah. We find in America that we have mega churches, we have huge churches, and, and they're very efficient because they gather a lot of people in one place at one time. Uh, you, there, there are a lot of things you don't have to, to duplicate, but they're not effective because they can't reach into urban neighborhoods. Mm. They can't reach into rural places like where we are today. Uh, there are so many places that they can't reach, but what you're describing is, is something that can be pervasive and invade a community. Exactly, and, and also we are, you know, depending on your community, you can be that flavor. Um, so that, you know, you can reach a cross section of people. Yeah. And so, uh, tell me, uh, there's two more things I wanted to talk, talk about in yeah. this, this short video. One is, what was it like being a Sri Lankan moving into England, which is basically an age old society of, of white people who are very conservative? How did how was that in terms of winning trust and and then because you're obviously ministering to these people how did that work? Yeah, it, it took a while to you know to learn and and I think you know one of the things that we had to do was to learn and not assume or not expect people here to behave as though people were in Sri Lanka and so my the first church that I actually pastored here uh, were was a total white British church. And so that was a good training ground for me to understand how people thought, how people, you know, functioned here and uh, being appreciative of the local culture and knowing how to cross that cultural boundary. Yeah. That means you have to be very, very sensitive in order to do that. Very, very sensitive yeah. and really way of saying, I'm here to learn. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's, here to learn. that's always the key to that. Yeah, and disciple them. So. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I noticed uh, you're wearing a, a shirt Hawaii. that says Hawaii on it. Yeah, I just wanted here to. Here we are in England. I wanted to make you feel at home a bit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> thank you. Thanks thank very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.